Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. With this release, Photoshop has improved Select Subject, introduced the new Object Select tool, and enhanced Content Aware Fill's ability to select source information. First, let's take a look at Select and then Subject. This command, which is powered by machine learning technology, is now faster at analyzing imagery, and it's been updated to better identify the most prominent subject in an image. Once we select the command, as we can see from the marching ants, Photoshop does a good job of isolating this iceberg from the background. I'll add a curves adjustment layer and make a slight adjustment to the contrast as well as to the color. Select subject creates a hard edge mask, so to soften it, I'll click on the mask and then increase the feather on the properties panel. I'll tap the B key to select the brush tool grab a little bit larger of a brush, and paint with white along the bottom of the iceberg in order to soften the edge where the ice meets the water. All right, let's take a look at the next image. Here, the primary subject is a bit more ambiguous, so I'll switch to the object selection tool. Then I'll drag a loose rectangle around the car and Photoshop will shrink wrap that selection to the primary subject. Again. I'll make a slight change, in this case changing the hue and the saturation. I'll select the brush tool again, get a little bit smaller of a brush, and painting with black, just touch up some of the areas that I don't want to be affected by the change of hue and saturation. I'll tap the X key again in order to exchange my foreground and background colors in order to touch up right along the edge of the car here on the top as well as along the back. I probably should exchange my colors again and just paint inside the window here because I would be able to see the original colors from the wall in both the front and the back windows as well as right over here. All right, so I might need to do some touch up, but overall that was much faster than starting from scratch. In the final image, I wanna change the color of just one of the huts. Returning to the object selection tool, I'll change the mode to lasso and then just drag a loose lasso around the hut that I want it to select. Again, Photoshop will shrink wrap it to that hut and I'll make a change using hue and saturation, but this time I'll use the on-screen adjustment tool holding down the command key in order to change the color of the metal as well as the wood. Then I want to remove the distracting areas in the lower left, so I'll tap L to select the lasso tool, make a selection around those areas, hold down the shift key in order to add to that selection, then making sure that I'm on the background layer, I'll choose edit and then content aware fill. There are now three different sampling area options. The rectangular was the default in previous versions. Auto will automatically analyze the image and it's gonna create a sampling area based on both texture as well as color match that radiates out from the original selection. The custom is actually going to clear the sampling area and then you can use the sampling brush to paint in the area that you want to use. But in an image like this, we could see a moment ago that Auto did a very good job, so I'll select that. We can see in the preview area that it's going to be great, so I'm just going to output it to the current layer and click OK. Then I'll deselect, and as you can see, the new Improve Content Aware Fill, Select Subject, and the new Object Selection tool should help us to make edits more quickly in Photoshop.